Hi guys, it's Alyssa with Careful Security. I'm here with Scott for our week in review. Scott, Hi. how was your week? What were you up to? Oh uh, man, it was fantastic. It was quite eventful. One of the things going on is a pen test that's kind of following a trajectory, a story that many of our clients do. I'd love to share, um, but yeah, it's been a busy week. Aren't they always busy weeks? Well, can you get a little bit more into the pen testing without divulging too much? Yeah, uh, with no no names or numbers. Um, in pen testing, there's usually three layers of things that we do. We'll do an authentic, unauthenticated test. So like looking outside, what can we find and can we get in and what are those pathways? Then there's an authenticated test, which is like a gray box, white box, where you get a authenticated credentials to log in and, and see what the system's about. And then there's source code analysis, where they give you the source code. And presumably with all the other steps I just mentioned, you get the full breadth and understanding and test and report of your system. Um, but what that relates to in this client, so we had a client, they, sh they they start up, maybe it's a little shy and they're like, we only want a white box or a black box test, an unauthenticated test. We only want to see whatever a hacker can see. I've heard that so many times. And that's, and for me, it's like, oh, phase two is coming. We're like, well, what can we see once they're in? Or, and that'll be the auth test. And I started the auth test for this particular client uh, earlier this week uh, because they're like, yes, that's what we want. Um, once we finish the, uh, the unauth test. So it was kind of like that transition of understanding that I've seen so many clients and companies do in my career, where they, they actually do want you to do the testing. And at first they're kind of like, oh, uh, it's that hesitancy. And I can't put a finger on exactly what a word would describe it, but it, it's, uh, it happens and it's part of the job. It's a win for everybody. So, yeah. Well, that's why you're the expert, Scott. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it is Friday. Do you have any fun plans for the weekend? I think we're definitely getting outside. We have to take advantage of nice weather. Hopefully it's not raining here in Portland for uh, next week's um, Halloween. I'm going to play some Roblox with my kids. One daughter's learning how not to get scammed of Robux. And one daughter's learning how to make Robux by making things people want to pay for. Wow. And it's a very interesting dialogue. Uh, and I love to be part of them learning that there's just a, an interesting world and space we live in. So. Yeah, that, that game is very, very popular. Well, thank you for taking the time to um, talk with me, Scott. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. There, bye.